catching us in the act. More local areas moving now to those red light cameras to photograph drivers when they run red lights. And tonight we're hearing one woman's frustrating experience after she got one of those tickets. Our chief investigative reporter, Jacqueline Bernard. Jackie? Well, she doesn't know how she's going to pay this bill. As for where all the money from fines are going, well, it's split between the city, the state, and the camera company. There are five red light cameras watching for lawbreakers in Green Cove Springs. Not everyone is happy about the cameras. I was blown away. I had no idea that I had <laughs> run a red light. Alice Bennett got a ticket a couple of months ago. Her fine, the standard $158 for a violation. There's a phone number that you call. What they want you to do is call, pick up the phone and call without contesting the ticket. They want you to just put it on your debit card and call it a day. But Bennett says she couldn't do that. She's on a fixed income and couldn't pay it. She says she decided to take it to court. But her biggest concern was when she went to court and pleaded not guilty, her fine went up. Paying a $262 fine, and I only have 30 days. Green Cove Police Officer William O'Daniel, one of two officers in charge of the program, says to date 11,887 tickets have been issued in only 10 months. It's unclear how many have been tossed out. But what we do know is that out of the standard $158 fine, $83 goes to the state. The city of Green Cove takes the remaining $75. The city has to pay an Arizona company running the cameras $4,850 a month per camera which totals $24,250 a month. You know, I wanted to see if I could opt for school. No such luck for these civil tickets. Out of the nearly 3,000 cases which have gone to court, 46% of them have actually been paid, bringing in more than $281,000. I think it's kind of cheating on the states. I mean, what are they paying police officers to do? Now, Bennett has until January 2nd to pay her fine. We have learned she does have an option for a payment plan through the clerk of court's office. Jacqueline Bedard, First Coast News. Right now, Green Cove Springs is the only area using those red light cameras. But according to Orange Park Police Chief, there's a meeting Wednesday with the town manager and the financial director to discuss using them there. Also, an ordinance has passed to, for them to be allowed, but there's been no final decision. JSO also is looking at installing 25 cameras throughout the county. We're waiting to hear back from them about when those perhaps could be installed.